everyone, welcome to my channel. I am going to be doing a clear glass uh, arrangement for you. What I'm going to be doing really is just showing you how you can use clear glass so that your stems don't show, how we can hide the stems basically. I had someone ask me that and forgive me, I don't recall who it was. I was too lazy to scroll back on all the comments to try and find this person. I do know that I replied and I said, uh, I will try and do this in a video soon. So this is what I'm going to do. It was something that I thought was easy to do. And uh, since I'm not feeling all that well, uh, but I promise you it's not anything of an emergency or anything like that. Okay, but uh, I will uh, address because some of you are asking for pictures from the baby shower. Um, I do have pictures. I took video. I did all of that. Uh, but, you know, I want to keep my family, you know, the whole situation private. I didn't ask their permission, so I don't think it's fair for me to post something of them. Uh, now, uh, the picture that I posted of my son was on my Facebook, so I feel like yeah, that's pretty much kind of public. So I went ahead and I posted that in the community page. Page. and thank you all very much for the lovely comments on that um, I may I may insert a little clip of the baby shower here only because it was kind of a little funny part and it just includes uh, pretty much me and my son in the in the uh, video I think I'm not really sure uh, but uh, I will try and do that if you don't see it forgive me but I'm going to try and put a little clip of that um, that but that's it and I'm sorry that I can't share it was basically uh, just, you know, us having a kind of a fellowship with each other, just family together, and just having little messages to my son and my daughter-in-law, and videotaping messages to the baby, so I feel like that is just for them and not for everybody else to see. Uh, and uh, then, of course, it was the opening of the gifts, and they got really nice gifts, things that they pretty much uh, asked for in their um, registry. So anyway, I'm going on about it, but uh, I guess I don't really have to explain it, but I do want to tell you all, it's not, I'm not, it's not that I'm not sharing because I don't want to share, it's just that, you know, it's private to them, and I just want to respect that. Okay, uh, and well, you know, I made a nice little video for them, and uh, if they feel like they want to share it with everybody, then that's up to them. Okay, so let's get to our little craft of the day. All right, everyone, I'm sitting down for this portion because, you know, <laughs> I'm not feeling all that well. This uh, weather is really, you know, fighting with my body. But uh, it doesn't really bring my spirits down. I just needed to rest and I couldn't get myself to move. But I have said, no, I'm getting up and I'm going to do it. So here I am. So these are my clear vases that I've got. I got these from the Dollar Tree, by the way. And then I have like this kind of a hurricane lamp kind of shaped uh, vase. I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby. You can get glass vases from anywhere or they can be plastic if you don't want to work with glass or maybe, uh, you know, because it's a little less expensive as well. Of course, they do have these at the Dollar Tree. They do have a plastic one that's a little bit taller, kind of a fluted, and it has sort of like an embossed, uh, you know, texture to it. So you might like that. Of course, just whatever you want to use. Maybe you want to recycle a vase from a, a, an arrangement that you received uh, for Valentine's or Mother's Day some years ago. I know that I save my vases. I don't know if you do, but if uh, you do, then you can just do that. Just, you know, give them a good, nice little cleanup. I haven't even cleaned these up, to be honest with you. These are brand new, and usually I end up cleaning them and remove any oils, you know, or dust that you know, from hands and things like that. This one I've had it, I used it over and over for so many things and I'm gonna use it again. Okay, so I've got this little piece of styrofoam here because I just wanna show you that you can use any styrofoam bits that you may have uh, laying around in your little craft box or room or whatever you happen to have. And you can obviously, you can recycle any pieces of styrofoam that you may have. Uh, what you're going to need for this particular project because the question was how do I hide stems in a clear glass vase? So this isn't about the arrangement. This is about what can I use in here to hide my uh, stems. Now, uh, usually when I'm going to put stems in here and I'm going to hide them, I end up using some styrofoam. Otherwise, I try to place the stems in there in, such, in, a, in a neat way, but uh, some of you have uh, uh, commented in, in a couple of other little arrangements that I did in glass where I just stuck them in there. Uh, you know, things like you could hide the stems with shredded paper, etc., blah, 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 blah. And you are absolutely right. That is a very valid point. Uh, I think at the, at the time, the arrangements that I made, I was happy with the way they looked. But I'm going to go ahead and do that here for you now. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. And let me open up <laughs> my styrofoam and get that ready so we can get to working. 
All right, I'm going to start with this uh, larger vase here. And I've got these little pieces of styrofoam. Like I said, you can use anything. You can start with a bigger block and just shave it down. And I'm going to start with these smaller blocks. And what I'm going to do is I am going to cut one of these like just a little bit over the half. Because I've already actually put it, and I'll go ahead and put it in there. I've already put it in to my glass. But there's very little space on the sides. So that's why I decided that I should cut part of it, which is this right here. And it's almost square, not quite. But now this will give me enough room all the way around it. But obviously this little piece of styrofoam is not tall enough, so I'm gonna be using a second bit. But like I said, if you have a bigger piece of styrofoam, go ahead and shave it down into a nice long, uh, you know, kind of squarish, cylinder-ish shape. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna glue it down to the bottom. I've got my hot glue gun here ready. Put that in there. And of course I need to build up some more. So that's why I got these pieces. Excuse me for the loud noise there. I'm gonna put some glue on that one there. Okay. And insert that in here. This gives me something to put flowers in, okay? But I don't wanna be able to see that, so I'm gonna cover that. You can either use a potpourri, which I have right here. I have bags of potpourri right here. You can use mosses if you wish to use that instead. And I've got a Spanish moss here. You can also use decorative rocks or uh, the decorative crystals, like little marbles. And there's also like the little grasses or shredded papers, depending on the season or, you know, holiday or whatever that you want to do. You can use something like that. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use my potpourri. And I bought two bags because I wasn't sure. I got these from the Dollar Tree, by the way, and the styrofoam is also from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing I want to do, again, is I'm going to hide the styrofoam by filling this up. Okay, like that. And as, it, as you can see, this fills it up pretty good. Let's do a smaller one just so you can get an idea what it's like to compare the Dollar Tree vase with the Dollar Tree styrofoam and the Dollar Tree potpourri. Let me throw the rest of that in there. There was a few bits. Sorry for the horrible noise. Now this one will not go in like that. I obviously have to cut it the same way that I did that other piece. So I'm gonna cut right into it like that. Test it. I think I need a little bit more. I just wanna make sure it goes in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some glue probably here and I probably want to squirt some to the bottom of the vase. There we go. Try not to get it onto the sides because the, um, well, we don't want to see the glue on the sides, but because this little space here is kind of small, it doesn't really fit my hands, I want to make sure that I do get glue on there. So as you can see, that's how high up it goes onto this vase, all right? And if you feel like you want to put more, go ahead. I'm just going to kind of trim it to size here. Put another little block in there, like that, and I just want to make sure that there's enough room where I can drop some some of this potpourri. Now, when you have a smaller mouth like that, you kind of have to push in the pieces of potpourri, and it'll take a little bit longer to fill it up. Now, if you don't want to use potpourri, you can use, like I said, you can use little rocks. That'll probably fill it up a little bit uh, faster, little pebbles. So what I mean, little decorative pebbles. You can use uh, sand and you know, sand. They have the little sand bags also there at the Dollar Tree. I think they have a white one. I'm not sure they have like a natural one too, but they also have like a little black. And they're kind of used also for the, those little fairy gardens. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're just, I'm cutting up some, I'm cutting up some of these little pieces. I'm saying you are, but I am. You're gonna cut up these little pieces uh, so that I can put them through. So as you can see, this takes a little bit longer only because it's a smaller mouth. So this is where you're going to decide if you'd rather use some little stones. So I'm going to continue doing this until that I have it all filled up so that I can compare to see how much of this potpourri I need for this little vase. And I'll be back. 
All right, so I'm back and I wanted you to see how much a bag fills up this smaller one. So obviously you just need one bag of potpourri if you purchase these smaller vases from the Dollar Tree. Anything bigger probably needs a bag and a half. So I'm just gonna use some of this to also put inside of here. I don't wanna cover the styrofoam, the tippy top here though, where I can see it because that is where my stems are going to go. So I obviously don't want to block them. Uh, one thing I did notice about this potpourri, and I don't know if it's with every potpourri bag because this is actually the first time I've come across it. Of course, it's been years since I've actually worked with potpourri, but uh, there's a little silicone gel packet inside of there. So when I poured it in, I saw it. Uh, so if you wanna make sure that if uh, you do use it, to notice it, if it falls in there and you don't see it when you turn it around, then you know you don't have to worry about it, just leave it in there. But just so that you'll know, look out for these so that uh, they won't show. That's the only thing that I wanted to point out about that. There's nothing really wrong with it. Okay, so now that you've seen it uh, filled up with potpourri, I'm actually going to leave uh, this one in here because I want to do a little arrangement so that you can see how I just put them right into that little bit of styrofoam. I'm actually gonna put another little piece on there. But anyway, and then I wanted you to see this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with something different so that you can see that. All right, this is what it would look like filled with some moss. As you can see, that looks really pretty. And the way that I was doing it, because you wanna make sure that it falls all the way down. So you don't wanna grab a clump and just try to stuff it in there. Grab little pieces, break it off. Push them in there just to get them in there to begin with and use you know a pencil or your scissors or any little tool that you can slide in there a wooden dowel uh, to push that down and what I'm doing is I'm spreading it like that kind of flat and then curving it so I can slide it in around the styrofoam this is my little magnetic wand and it's getting stuck on my knife. So all I'm doing is just pushing it down because I want to make sure that when I lift it up, I don't see the styrofoam on the bottom. So as you can see right here, I can see it. So I want to get some on the sides as well. So that's basically what you're doing is you're just filling it in, pushing things down until you've got it all nice and full. And that looks really pretty. With little stones, they're nice and small, so they will go down, so we'll sand, so you don't have to do any of this, you know, tossing in and so forth, and it will work a little bit faster. It takes, obviously, a little longer to work with a potpourri and a little longer to work with a moss to get it all pushed in if you have very narrow sides, uh, which these, this one here wasn't really that narrow, but uh, the smaller you get, of course, the more narrow. So you want to keep in mind that you're not going to be able to use like a really thin vase to do this kind of effect, okay? Just keep that in mind. You can use some sand, maybe some tiny little pebbles, but to put in some potpourri because it's in big chunks sometimes, it's really hard unless you're gonna sit there and completely break it. Now let's see what it looks like with some little Easter grass inside. Okay, this is the Easter grass that I got and it's some really long, uh, pieces. So I'm actually going to just kind of cut it a little bit here and there just to make it a little bit smaller bits. You don't have to do that, of course. I just don't want the like the str strung around look of it. I want it to be in little pieces. So I'm just putting some bits in there and use anything to push it in. I think that little tool here works really well to push it in. So I'm going to use that. Even like a wooden spoon that's nice and thin that you can get in there, that would work really great to push it in. You don't have to go looking for this magnetic thing that I have here. Every time I do this, I shave a little bit of my styrofoam so it's getting a little bit less and less. But anyway, I just wanted to give you the idea of what it would look like with some little Easter grass in there. I think it looks really pretty. What do you think? All right, so now that you have seen how it looks like with some moss, some grass, and some styrofoam, you get the idea of how to cover your styrofoam. But let's do another way of uh, preparing the vase so that you don't have to put anything inside if you just want a completely clear see-through vase. All right, and here I have two pieces of styrofoam which are very different. Let me show you so that you can look at a close-up. The styrofoam I actually bought at a floral shop. You can find a lot of these type of uh, uh, styrofoams also on Amazon. So if you want to look there, uh, I don't know about eBay. I've, I've not tried looking for it at eBay. I love shopping from Amazon, so that is what I use. Uh, but I also use my local 
flower shops like Hobby Lobby, etc. And sometimes you'll find these in bags of assorted sizes as well. Maybe even during uh, Christmas because maybe they'll be in different assorted sizes and you can use them for ornaments. So make sure you recycle those. Or if you happen to have some uh, ornaments that are getting old and the stuff on the top is basically coming off but there's still styrofoam inside, just try to grab all that stuff off of it, clean it off, and save the styrofoam. Okay, there we go. So here's another uh, item that you can also use. is a little block of styrofoam that you can just cut to shape to fit the mouth of that. I'm going to go ahead and use this little ball and I'm just going to basically cut it in half. Actually, it's got a kind of a line on here, a little seam here. I'm going to go ahead and follow that. And I'm just using a little craft knife to cut into my styrofoam. The styrofoam is a little bit harder to cut into. I probably need a new craft knife. And this is not really a craft knife. It's just a regular, you know, like a little kitchen knife. I bought it at the Dollar Tree. But I call it a craft knife. So what, why not, right? If you go to the uh, craft store and look for a craft knife, you're probably going to pay quite a bit of it just because it's called a craft knife. But all you need is a nice sharp little knife. Okay, so this is the styrofoam. And it's, I'm not the biggest fan of this type of styrofoam. Mm. I really like this more dense styrofoam. But look how this fits in there perfectly. So that's why I'm using it. Of course, I'm not going to recommend that you go out buying balls of styrofoam. Because that's actually going to end up being more expensive. I'm just saying if you have a little ball from an old ornament that you can uh Recycle or if you bought some stuff maybe on clearance, you know from Christmas ornament styrofoam balls for crafts use that Obviously for something with this bigger of a mouth You're not going to be able to use this size So, you know, you can just <laughs> skip that idea and use a bigger block of styrofoam But you can do this on this big mouth I'm just going to show you on this little mouth because I happen to have this piece of styrofoam that I wanted to use And basically what you're going to do is you're going to make sure this is all nice and clean There's nothing in there and you're going to hot glue this onto the top of the mouth. Okay, that way it stays as nice and stable. But what I'm going to do is I'm also going to trim off a little bit on the bottom because I think it goes in a little too far in, if you look at it. Actually, it really doesn't because I could put a ribbon and hide that. Or I could just hide it with the greenery and such that I'm putting on there. So I'm not going to cut it this time, but you can if you feel like you don't like it. Just trim off the bottom here, okay? Now, if I was going to use a block like this, I'm going to press down into it a little bit and see how that marks it. So what I want to do now is I want to start cutting those pieces, but I don't want to cut straight down. I want to cut at an angle outward. This is going to be the top. Let me put my hot glue gun over here. I'm going to cut at an angle like that. That's what I'm going to do first. Start turning off. Like if you were cutting a cake, just a little bit, just where it got marked, okay? Don't cut any further, just do that. And then just start fitting it in and pushing it in to create some more marks. And start cutting that off. doing is you're creating a an angled cut inward so that it starts fitting inside of your jar the mouth of your your vase I should say and as you can see I still need to trim off some more but it's better to do a little bit at a time okay because sometimes I have cut a little too much and then it goes in way in. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the styrofoam to fit into the tip of the mouth and this has gone in almost an inch. I'm going to do a little bit more. good I think and I'm just going to press it in and I want you to see that how it went in and you just need the top as is sorry I didn't mean to take it off uh, the camera there okay so now what you will do is you will hot glue it in there and because there's little crevices here and there that I can just 
press into just don't put too much glue in there that it goes dripping inside of your vase you don't want that anything that drips on the outside you can clean it off but try not to have anything drip do a little bit at a time there we go I'm just lifting it ever so slightly letting that glue get on there and then I'm just gonna wipe off any excess here this is not going to show. I'm going to cover this mouth tip, so don't worry about little smears and such. And just wait till it all dries, and then you can just go with a nice little uh, cloth, a little moist cloth, and clean around it. Okay, I have another idea for this, but I think I'm going to save it for a video because uh, an idea of this is kind of occurring to me. So uh, remind me that I want to show you how to do a little memento, I guess, in a clear vase. Okay, so there we have our styrofoam. The same thing could have been done with this part. So now that we have this, we can cover it with some moss if we if we like, if we don't want it to show it all. Completely cover it. Obviously the inside is not gonna get covered with moss. We don't really wanna do that because the little bits could fall inside and then you're gonna see the little dirt and the little grass. And of course you wanna remove these labels and I didn't do that, but anyway, you get the idea. So this is what you can do with that. And now we can put our flowers and our greenery into the styrofoam and we'll have a beautiful arrangement up here on the top and have a nice clear vase. If you want to go the extra step, you can actually throw in some lighted uh, uh, or battery operated lights inside of there and then just have the battery pack out here and then kind of uh, adhere it to the side here so you can then hide it with flowers. So let me go ahead and make a tiny little arrangement out of this so that you can see how that's going to be hidden. All right, so I've got my little vase where I put this little styrofoam on top. Uh, what you could do is you could cover the top with uh, moss. And I've got this sheet moss here instead of using Spanish moss. This is a nice uh, green moss that is kind of flat and little pieces. If you pull it out, it kind of grows into like little, little chunks. And these little pieces, you could actually hot glue them to the edge here some of it on the glass and some of it on the styrofoam. Uh, or if you have greenery pins, you could just use them to poke right into the, uh, green, uh, the styrofoam, sorry. I'm not gonna use them only because it's such a small piece and I really don't think I need that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the outside of my vase edge here. Just a little bit, just enough to capture that moss. Just like that. And what I'll do is I'll just put it all the way around the edge to cover that. You don't have to do that, okay? Okay, I feel like I'm just gonna do half of it so that you can see how you don't have to use the moss. If you have enough, you know, greenery, little flowers, but if you don't, then you cover some of the styrofoam on the side so that then you don't have to use any of that to cover the styrofoam. Okay. Anything that hangs a little bit too much, just go around and trim it. And if it's sticking up too far up at the top, you can also do the same. Let me add a little bit of glue right here so this little piece doesn't stick out so far out. Okay, so that's basically what you would do around the edge if you wanted to cover that. You could use a piece of a ribbon, you could glue it on the edge here, a little bit of rope, be creative in hiding that. Okay, let's get this grass out of the way. Alright, so now I'm just going to make a little arrangement and I'm just going to stick my flowers in. And I'm not sticking them all the way in to where they stick out at the bottom of the styrofoam. You don't want to push all the way in. Just do it very carefully and very gently because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to push that little piece of styrofoam, you know, as you go along, you're pushing a little piece of styrofoam to make that little hole and that's going to fall into your jar. So you don't have to worry about that when you have potpourri or a little grass in there, but you do have to worry about that when you have a clean, clear vase or let's say you put some sort of memento in there. Okay, so I'm just going to put my flowers, I think I'm going to cut them a little bit shorter and actually make a shorter arrangement, make a nice little round one. And as you can see, I'm not using any hot glue because uh, I intend on taking this apart more than likely 
and doing something else with this. Only because this is going to be very Easterish, I think, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I love the yellow flowers, though. What is your favorite flower? My favorite flower is the white daisies and uh, yellow roses. Those have always been my favorite, my favorite of all. Okay, so there I've gone and I put my flowers in there and you can say, well, I can still see all of that, all that stuff. So this is where you're gonna take your greenery. These are just bits that I have from some other arrangement that I'm actually recycling and I'm just going to cut them down just a little bit so that they go between my flowers but at the same time they're not uh, hiding my flowers. Let me find another piece. Here's a nice long piece. So for example here you've covered it with moss on the side here so you don't have to worry about hiding that with any greenery. You can just stick a piece of greenery there on the top, bend down any stem that you want like that. And that'll be nice. You don't have to cover that up. But let's say you do want to cover the uh, the styrofoam. And I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice this little bit because I'm going to cut it into little pieces like that. And I'm actually going to stick this on the side here of the styrofoam. And then a little bit more. And you're just going to build that around on the edge of the styrofoam right here so that you can cover that up. So if you've got some nice leaves, and I'll, again, make sure that you're not gonna poke them through so, so that they poke through the styrofoam and push styrofoam bits into your glass. So just be very careful about where you're pushing them in. I would push them in, or cut the stem as short as you can, but enough to push in, at least an inch, an inch and a half of, uh, of stem to push in so that they don't come f falling out of there, but it's enough where the leaves are close enough to the styrofoam and they're kind of clustered together. You don't want to make them too clustered, but you do want to make sure that you can't, can't see through now. If you investigate it very carefully, you can, but uh, you know that if you do this with a little bit more, then you will be covering all that up. So let me go ahead and continue doing that by cutting little pieces of this and sticking some more in there. And of course I want to cover all that up. I can take a piece that's long like this, insert it, and then kind of wrap it around the moth because, you know, it's bendable. You can shape it and wrap it around the side of the vase here and then just add some more little bits, you know, in here to fill in. But as you can see, this other side is getting nice and full. Of course, you don't want to neglect what's up here, so make sure you have enough greenery bushes to do that. So now you can decide on your own, well, what is going to be the best bet for me? Is it going to be to put a little bit of moss around it or a little ribbon to hide that? Or am I going to put a greenery? What are you going to decide? Because then you'll have to purchase just a little bit more greenery or a nice full bush of greenery. And as you can see, I'm just using a small leaf kind of ivy here to do that. And as you can see, the styrofoam is getting covered up. You could, after you've done that, just stick little pieces of moss in there where you can still see styrofoam. But like on this other side, where I'm not putting any um, greenery on the edges, I can continue by just putting it on the top, bending a, bit, a few bits here and there. Let's see, let me cut this one short. I feel like I need one sticking out up here. Wait, let's see. Yeah, because I've got a long one over there. Okay. Here to cover the stem of this flower. Some more here. But you get the idea, okay? I'm going to move on to the next arrangement so that you can see how I can decorate this one that has some uh, popiary inside. What I like to do is I like to take another piece of styrofoam. Let me go ahead and get these little bits, little chunks that were left over. And I want to make myself like a little bit of a bigger piece up here. I'm going to cut these about the same size here. Just some little pieces like that to glue on to the top here. Just to give me a more surface 
and that little tiny square in there. So first of all, I'm going to glue these together, like so. And then, of course, this side is a nice smooth side that was cut by the uh, factory, the, the maker. And this is a side where I cut with my knife, so it's not very level or very even. So I'm actually going to glue down the part that uh, I did not slice through. Get those little bits of popery out of the way. Okay, so now I'm going to put this here on the top. And then I'm going to pour some more popery. Pour it and poke it into the sides here to cover the side of that piece of styrofoam. How many times have I said styrofoam? This is your weekend night and you want to take shots while I do this. Well, why I say that? Well, that's a little fun. Okay. Or not. Don't drink and drive. All right, so now I've got my styrofoam in there, and now I can create an arrangement with that. And I've got some uh, an assortment of flowers here that I want to use. So I'm just going to go in and just start placing flowers in there. This is what it's looking like so far. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to actually add in a little bit more popery to cover now the styrofoam that I can see through here. I would like to add some greenery as well. So I can just kind of poke it through here and there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and dig some of that out. But I'm just making sure that I've got enough popery in there to go up all the way to the top of the sides and that I'm not seeing styrofoam. There we go. I think that's pretty good. A little more on this side. These leaves are covering it up. But I'm just going to put a little bit more. Okay. So that's what that looks like. I just want you to look at the bottom edge. Don't mind the actual arrangement. But there you go. This is what a beautiful arrangement in a glass vase can look like with some potpourri filled in. All right, let me put uh, my other little arrangements here on the side so you can see what I've done. All right, everyone, here I've got the three ways. Uh, well, that's actually just really two ways that you can prepare your vases. Uh, as you can see, this one I filled it up with a potpourri, and then I did this one where I filled up with some little Easter grass and of course I added some little flowers and a little bow and a couple of little egg pigs to it just to complete that arrangement. This one here um, I showed you how to put the moss to hide the styrofoam. I will point out something because I, I had already said it to be careful how far in you poke it. You don't want to poke all the way through because you're going to end up having little bits of styrofoam on the bottom. Well when I went off camera to do a little bit of fidgeting with this I didn't want to complete it. I just left it how I had it, but I was pushing the flowers in a little bit more without thinking, and I actually got some little bits of styrofoam at the bottom there. You, you may not be able to see them, but I can see them, and of course, you don't want to see them in person when you've, you've done that, so you just want to be careful with that. All right, and, and there we go. I hope that you enjoyed my little quick tutorial on how to work with these clear glass vases, and I hope that you did learn something. It's something that's really easy. This one, just a little more care, uh, but you can do it. You can hide your stems inside a clear glass vase. It gives it a really nice look. The other alternative would be to maybe spray paint them, and I usually like to spray paint, you know, inside let all that spray get in there and uh, so that you can see the nice clear glass on the outside, and it, plus, it won't get scratched up. Okay, so that's just a little tip. All right, so if you'd like to see the uh, idea of a memento to create with this particular kind of look, let me know, and uh, I'll get something done like that. Uh, I might want to use this bigger vase for that. I think that would work out a little bit better for the idea that I have. So anyway, this is <laughs> what I ended up doing with that one. I think it looks beautiful. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this one out in my home. All right, everyone, I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. Make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. And leave a nice comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And thank you so much to everyone who has. Uh, you've been very kind to me, very supportive. And without you, I wouldn't be doing these videos. But I really do enjoy doing them. So um, 
even when I get sick and I can get a video off of you, even if it's late, I will do that for you. Okay, I think I've got a recipe for Friday, so make sure you look out for that. So hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of when I put up a video in case it doesn't come out on time. Uh, but you will be notified and uh, share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy. Silence. Okay, I want to say something. You know when you do a baby shower, it's always about the mommy? Yeah. You know, and we, we wanted to do what everybody's doing now and make it for the daddy too. <laughs> and mommy's going to be opening a lot of cute little things and daddy's going to be like, oh, that's nice. And then daddy's going to be like, oh, I'm going to have to build that. And mommy's going to be like, it's so cute. But anyway, we decided because there's going to be a situation. You're going to be changing a lot of diapers. And mommies are immune to baby poop. <laughs> They're just so cute when there's baby poop, but daddies cannot handle it. So Daddy Christopher, <laughs> we got you all the gadgets <laughs> in your own apron. Mijito, turn around to Susanna. <laughs> oh, you dropped a nipple. <laughs> That's okay, Mijito. We will fix your nipples. Look at that. You got shaky dog. Okay, Mijito. Stand right here, son. You can look at you. That mask you're going to need. You got your nipples. You got a mask. Goggles because baby boys shoot up. Okay. Little toy. Some bad babies. Watch what you're grabbing there, baby. Oh, I admit it. I've grabbed it before. Bottle. Feeders, and of course to grab the dirty diapers <laughs> and the gloves and some additional Now show it to your wife and tell her you are ready. And if worse comes to worse.